Hey everyone, today it's Mad at Hero Printing. Today we're going to talk about the event schedule that was released and what we expect to see in the Sky RPG for the next two and a half weeks. Stay tuned. Alright, so uh, we have already got the Nether Beauty Summon 4 star Gurlaharl mid boss, uh, which along with that at the bottom here we have the uh, Nether uh, Beauty Pageant as well. Uh, that's currently going, but uh, in a few days we're going to get uh, two new uh, summons here. Uh, they're going to be reoccurring summons. Uh, the first one is Dark Santa Laharl. Uh, he was the first uh, limited unit summon. He is reoccurring again. Uh, Dark Santa Laharl, his main evil teeth that you are most looking for is his 10% drop bonus. Very good in that regards. I was not able to get him, but I didn't go very hard. I may try a little bit just to try and increase the drop rate as I'm right now using pirates instead. Uh, and a 3% drop rate is kind of important and helps uh, shorten the amount of time that you need to grind. But all in all though, it's not as important as some of the other units that we are expecting to come at the end of the month. Uh, we are also going to get reoccurring summon staff and monster magic pickup. Uh, so this one's going to be probably Eusalia. Uh, as one of the main ones, uh, who is a very good uh, monster magical unit, uh, and the staff units we will probably get is also Raspberry uh, and Flan as examples there. Uh, so hopefully we will uh, get those. Those will be recurring, and we'll see those over and over again. Uh, if you're really desperate and we do, and you don't have Eusalia, it's, it's very good for a monster. Uh, team. Otherwise, it's something that you can kind of just pull on if you're very interested. Um, so on June 1st, so we just basically move a day, there's going to be two new additional summons. One is the Sword Characters Pickup. Uh, this one will be obviously uh, probably Valve Torres, Laharl, and other Sword Characters, uh, and the Summon Spring Prinny, which is going to be an interesting uh, most likely event where you can summon uh, four star, three star, two star printies. They will be higher up. They will be able to fodder quicker so you, you can create more five and six star units, which are obviously more powerful overall. Uh, and then on 610, uh, we are going to see Eusalia and Fenric. Uh, this will be um, once a reoccurring summon again. Limited units for about four days. Uh, Fenric is a very good fist user. Usalia is a magic monster user that is very, very good at magic monster teams and monster teams in general. Uh, Desco is a huge fan of Usalia. Uh, also, along with Midboss. Uh, we are going to have a Fiercest Badass Rosalind Velvet Torres login bonus as well. Uh, we just had there's going to be another uh, mention at Gate looks like in a couple of days on top of it so uh, more and more we'll be able to pick up the uh, mention Etna shards to be able to get her closer and closer to any 10. Uh, so on I'm going to say 6-1 so the beginning of June to the 15th we're going to get another event so basically every week we get another event so you, uh, at this point they're trying to get us to complete a uh, event once a week so uh, using up your AP potions which they are trying to give out and be more generous which is uh, a very good thing but still it, it is a bit of a pain with uh, all the uh, grinding that we have to do uh, there will be the road to train the fiercest badass uh, once again, it's probably going to be Rosalind, Velvet Torres, uh, and a few other units for the 30 plus. Uh, but most importantly, on 610, we're going to get the main story, Chapter 10. This is going to allow us to increase our shops much higher. Uh, so, people who are struggling to get uh, all the way through uh, the item world or just doesn't want to keep on doing. 35 draws over and over again 
you, uh, you could start short circuiting that process and make it much faster, uh, being able to get through the story all the way through chapter 10. It also will give us more diamonds, which we need, and we also get uh, the first half of the Netherworld history of Disgaea 5, which will also once again give us more gems for us to pull with. The last thing that uh, the event schedule didn't have, and uh, there might be a few additional surprises here, we did get this conquest uh, today, and the conquest is a fun event where you're going to uh, have to, and I'll show you first here on easy mode, maybe, Dancy pretties. So I haven't gone all the way through hard yet, but uh, basically on easy mode is an example of the normal. So on easy mode, you have two completely different stages. You have to field two teams of five. Uh, basically, uh, stage one is you choose a team of five. Then for the next one, you choose another team of five. And you can run all the way through. Uh, here, I just need to go through uh, stage two. So I'll show you. We can reset here. Uh, so what we'll do here is uh, I'll create a party. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three. I'm not even sure if they're all equipped, but it shouldn't matter. And uh, one of the ideas that you can do is just make it through the first round. If you can't get all of the uh, stars in the first round, each of these only costs one energy, which is just two minutes of your time. And quite honestly, for the most of the time that you're going to be fighting, um, let's just clear them, you will uh, have a much easier time. Uh, you know, as I say, it's basically for free for the energy attack. I think you've got my best axe, and you're still not even strong enough to do that. All right, Tuesday. There we go. So you've got the first stage complete. So we'll show you the second stage here. I won't be able to choose Thursday. I won't be able to choose Curtis because of the fact uh, that I had ran them in the first round. Do, 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 do. Dancing, printing, dancing, printing. All right, so. Uh, for this one, uh, let's choose uh, party. Uh, so if you go all, actually, it, doesn't, it tells you at the bottom, unable to battle because I've chosen these teams already. I'm only here just to go for broke here, so it's going to be my full team. Or mostly my full team. And that's how this works. On hard, uh, stage two of the four stages can only be used by monsters. So you have to have a monster team on hard in order to make it through all the way. So if you are based off of just a humanoid team, don't have monsters, then you will struggle. Or um, uh, like my most powerful character is actually Desco. And uh, using her on round two actually kind of stinks. Uh, so uh, that is one of the struggles that I will work on and probably be through either t today or tomorrow. I just need one more person that's a little stronger to be able to clear Route 3 for me. So I hope everyone had a wonderful time. I will uh, see you guys later. If you've got any questions or concerns about the new events uh, for the TIL 615, let me know down below. Uh, I will also post my link of the uh, Nether Beauty Summons 4-star girl horror mid-boss down below as well. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. I also have a Patreon if you'd like to go check that out as well. So bye everyone.